Hello, everybody. Gary Radnich here. Just, uh, of course, like everybody else, talking Golden State Warriors. And I know there's a feeling, oh, rest Curry, rest him throughout Portland. Yeah, you're probably going to get by Portland without Curry, especially after what you saw on Sunday. But here's the key. You rest him too long if he's ready to go, and the team starts to get another rhythm without him. And if indeed it's going to be San Antonio next, you want to have the team feeling good playing like, hey, we're not thinking twice. You have Curry sit out all of Portland. Thompson's used to a different rhythm. Green's used to a different rhythm. Then you throw Curry back in. And you could have a little struggle against a team, especially like San Antonio, which, wow, did they look great over the weekend. So that's, that's my thing. There's a tendency, again, from everybody to say, hey, if he's not 100% ready, let him sit, let him sit, let him sit. And that's why I think Curry is itching to get back on Saturday, because if you're a guy like Curry or the MVP of the league, you understand rhythm and you want to get back. And as much as uh, this sounds, even the greatest player has a little doubt. Damn, they're doing good without me. They may even be better defensively without me with those long arms of Livingston and Clay Thompson. So I bet you you see Curry on Saturday, even if he's 97.5%, bring him back.